Hello student friends. This is Dr. Sangeeta Joshi from Vidyalankar Institute of Technology, Mumbai. Currently, we are studying the course Fundamentals of Logic Circuits. It's a lab course. Let us learn today how to implement 4-bit binary adder using LT Spice. And we will be using the approach of creating a full adder symbol and using the same symbol in the adder circuit. All of you are well aware with this basic uh, binary addition. Whenever you are adding 0, 0, you are getting the sum as a 0, carry as a uh, 0. Whenever you are adding 0 plus 1 or 1 plus 0, you are getting result as a 1 and uh, carry as a 0. However, whenever you are adding 1 plus 1, then you are getting the result as a sum as a 0 and carry as a 1. This is very much required to understand before we go ahead. Now, let us take an example wherein I am adding two binary numbers. Our uh, experiment is uh, to add two binary numbers. So, I have taken 4 bit. So, I have taken two 4 bit add numbers and I have taken the same number 0, 1, 0, 1 and 0, 1, 0, 1. Well, again, and the one to, that is to be added is the add end. So, I am adding the two similar numbers and uh, here is I am getting the carry out. 1 plus 1 is uh, result is 0 and carry is 1. And actually, whenever we are adding the first column, the carry in, this is treated as a carry in. So, we are taking this carry in as a 0. Now, what is the carry that is being generated from the first column? So, the, we are adding it to the second column. And then, whatever is the carry again generated here, that we are adding it to the third column. So, that is how we do the binary addition. I would like to let you know here that each of this column is nothing but a one full adder because we have studied that in a full adder there are three bits. So, here the bits those are to be added is the first this bit, then second this bit and the carry that we are adding. Here we are in the beginning we are considering the zero but subsequently you will find that this plus this plus this is nothing but the sum and the carry. So, three inputs are there to this full adder and two outputs one carry and one sum. So, once you understand this basic example, how to implement this example now using a logic diagram. Now, since each column is representing one full adder, so how many full adders will be requiring? We will be requiring four full adders. So, let us see here. So, full adder 1, full adder 2, full adder 3, full adder 4. Each of these full adder represents one, uh, each column of the earlier slide. So, here the two numbers, these are to be added as the a1, a2, a3, a4 and b1, b2, b3, b4. So, what I have done, I have given the, now you can see here, here it is the a1 and here it is the b1 I am adding. Here a2 and b2 I am adding in the second column. So, therefore, in the first adder, I am adding the a1 and b1. In the second adder, I am adding b a2 and b2. In the third add, adder, I am adding these two, a3 and b3 and in the last, I am adding a4 and b4. And here I will be in the beginning, I will be giving the 0. So, I am grounding this. So, whatever is the sum that I am getting, that is the S1 and C1 carry out. So, this C1 is the carry out, which is added as a C in for the full adder. Then from this, I am getting two outputs. So, inputs are 3, A2, B2 and C1. Output is C2 and S2. So, likewise, you will be getting the final carry as a C4. So, whenever you look at the sum of this uh, or the summation or the result of this adder, so, you will find that here C4 is the most significant bit, next to that is S4, next to that is S3 and S1 is the likewise the least significant bit of this adder. Now, once you understand the logic behind the 4-bit binary adder, let us now try to understand how can we build it using the LT spice. So, before that let me tell you that already in the LT spice we have studied the how to draw a half adder schematic. So, this is the half adder schematic. And how to create a symbol for the half adder schematic. So, you can refer to my video wherein I have explained it thoroughly. So, these are the two inputs because half adder is a 2 bit adder. So, A and B are the two inputs and sum and carry are the two outputs. So, this symbol shows A in, B in and carry and sum. So, I am using this for generating a or creating a full adder. So, here I have created a full adder schematic using the half adder symbol. So, you can see here, this is the one half adder, this is the second half adder and this is one OR gate. So, basic components are these and what are the three inputs to this full adder? A, B and C in and what are the outputs? Carry and sum are the outputs. So, in a symbol creation, I will see that A, B, C are the input ports and carry and sum are the output ports. 
now i can create a entire now i have actually created a entire full header symbol and which looks like this and this symbol is now utilized in the 4 bit binary header so the symbol which i have created i have placed this symbol four times this is a ppt this is not a lt spy screen so four times i have placed this symbol and uh, you will find that here are the a1 actually i have written here the label these are the labels i have given so uh, actually i have given the same input to the uh, both the bits i mean same uh, number i am adding i am adding suppose 10101 so there are two 0101 so a1 also would be 1 and b1 also would be 1 so this is not a red color is not a part of schematic lt spy schematic in the lt spy schematic schematic i have given the same label to this as well as this because i am giving the same uh, digit or maybe a bit and uh, this is the scene first column i am taking zero so i have grounded this so now this is c1 i have to connect it to the second so rather than wiring it and making the wiring complicated what i have done i have given the label c1 and here the label c1 c2 and c2 c3 and c3 and finally the c4 so finally you will look at the uh, summation uh, c4 is the msb then s4 s3 s2 s1 so this is my final summation uh, as long as the waveforms or the inputs are concerned you can see i have taken two four voltage sources a1 uh, this is v1 v2 v3 v4 and which are labeled as a a1 a2 a3 a4 since i have written here a1 and here also a1 and here also a1 whatever is the waveform that i am defining here pulse waveform so the same would be applied to the both the inputs and that is why i am telling you that the, i am taking the same numbers a1 a2 a3 a4 and b1 b2 b3 b4 these are the same numbers and therefore the only one voltage source i have applied i have used otherwise i would have had used uh, two voltage sources i mean two sets of these four uh, voltage sources a1 a2 a3 a4 and b1 b2 b3 b4 as long as the timing diagram is concerned timings uh, for the waveforms are concerned you will see here i have taken one microsecond uh, as a t on and total period as a two microsecond so this is a 500 kilohertz pulse and this is a two to four two or two microsecond and four microseconds so that is 250 kilohertz this is 125 kilohertz so likewise you will find that uh, what i have done i have every time i have doubled the time and half the frequency why it is done i will tell you in the next slide well uh, the four numbers uh, to whom i have given now you can see here a1 this is the lsb and this is the most significant bit you can see here i have given here the two microseconds so this is the two microsecond pulse violet one that is the a1 a2 is the four microsecond so this total period is four microsecond actually you will find that uh, this number is actually a4 a2 a1 a0 so at any point of these four inputs that means you can read it like this this is zero this is zero this is zero and this is zero so zero 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 at this point of time i am giving to all four headers then this i am giving to the uh, next uh, that is zero 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 one then i am giving it to the zero zero uh, one zero that is the two next i am giving zero zero one and one that is the three so this all up to last you can see one 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 so what does it mean it means that all 16 combinations i am getting as a inputs so 0000, 0, 0, 0 from 0000, 0, 0, 0 till 1111 so all 16 combinations i am actually executing now again i would like to let you know that how it is you see whenever you are uh, tabulating uh, all four 16 combinations from 0000, 0, 0, 0 to 1111 you will find that <coughs> Now this is the most significant bit. So I have written the most significant bit here. Uh, and this is the least significant. So my A1 is the LSB and my A4 is the MSB. Now if you look at this uh, blue color line. So this is the first uh, number A1, A2, A3 I am giving. So that number is actually 0, 0, 0, 0. So you can see here 0, 0, 0, 0. And why uh, actually I am making the double the timing and uh, making half the frequencies. Because if you observe this table, you will find that 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, which is nothing but this pulse, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And exactly after two cycles, I mean here you will find two zeros, two ones, two zeros, two ones. So distance between the time is doubled. 
so therefore i am this is being this second column is represented by a2 third column is represented by a3 frequency and fourth column is represented by a4 frequency so at any point of time you can read the what is the combination so supposing this combination so what is this this is the zero then this a3 is also zero a1 is a2 is 1 and a1 is 1 so this is the 3 so 0 0 1 1 you can see here and last combination this is the 1 1 1 and 1 so last combination is the f or 1 1 1 1 so that is how i have taken the timings accordingly so i am getting the all 16 combinations now uh -huh. uh, before this i'll also like to tell you that now see whenever i am telling you that the same number i am i, I am taking so here if i take the same number a1 a2 a3 a4 and b1 b2 b3 b4 which is nothing but 0 0 0 0 so that means what summation i am expecting i am expecting a zero summation 0 plus 0 here i am taking the number as a 1 in the second column so that is the 0 0 0 1 so what summation i am expecting 1 plus 1 2 i am expecting so i'll have to observe accordingly the s3 s4 s2 and s1 then in third uh, combination 0 0 1 0 this is nothing but the 2 so this green line so what should i expect the sum i should expect the sum as a uh, 3 plus uh, green is the green is the 2 so 2 plus 2 is 4 and this brown again is the 3 so 3 plus 3 is 6 so we will just observe now in the next slide that whether we are getting the appropriate sum or not and if you look at this uh, timing diagrams now you will find that these are the a1 a2 a3 4 which i have already explained now you can see the now results now you will find that this see first i i told you 0 plus 0 is 0 so i am getting here all zeros so lsb is s1 and msb is the c4 now here it's uh, 0 1 plus 1 is 2 so this is the result is 2 so what is the msb msb is this 0 c4 is the msb so this is a 5 uh, bit number summation because the, we are adding the carry final carry so 0 0 0 0 1 0 so 1 0 is nothing but 2 then next is 2 plus 2 is 4 so i am getting 0 0 1 0 0 so this is nothing but 4 next is 6 because 3 plus 3 so 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 is 6 next is 8 so 0 1 0 0 and next is 5 plus 5 is 10 or a 0 and then 1 0 1 0 that is the 10 or a Finally, I am showing you the last uh, result, which is 15 plus 15, that is F plus F, which is nothing but the 30 or 1E. So, this is uh, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So, that is how we can observe the results. If you observe all carryouts, and uh, interesting thing you will observe, C1 carry is nothing but similar to the frequency as that of the A1. C2 is similar to that of the A2 c3 that of a3 and c4 that of a4 why it is happening because i am taking the same numbers supposing if i show you by example 0101 and 0101 now whenever carry is to be generated you can see here 1 plus 1 carry is always uh, supposing a1 or a2 uh, b1 so carry is always similar to the 0101 so here also carry out is 0101 so what it is the a1 i am getting the carry out because i am adding two numbers same similar number so 1 plus 1 always you will get a carry because result is 0 so here the same 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 is carry out i am getting result after carry out and therefore you will find the same frequency of the carries thank you very much in the next video we'll i'll show you the demonstration